Uh, Bill Crystal is back in the news in the way that he belongs to be in the news for saying something that makes absolutely no sense. So let's listen to what he said on Fox News Sunday, and then we'll break it down. Just one question about the what we will now henceforth call the crystal scenario, which is if they end up passing this halfway cave, you know, a limited cave on tax rates, that doesn't avoid the fiscal cliff, does it? It avoids the tax side of the fiscal cliff. Right. It's still a spending problem. Most of those cuts in spending are fine with me, except for defense. But there, the president seems to have no interest in us having a strong defense. And so, I, again, I guess we can litigate that next year. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to debate all these spending, defense, and entitlement issues next year. So did you hear that? He said, I, I guess the president's not interested in having a strong defense. <laughs> I can't tell you the level of disdain I have for the war hawks within the United States. I mean, it amazes me that these idiots say the things that they do without doing their research. I, I mean, I can't imagine that if they did their research, they would believe the things that they believe and say the things that they say. I mean, just look at the numbers. How can you possibly say... Obama is not interested in having a strong military. Let's look at the numbers. The United States spends $711 billion annually on our military budget. The nearest competitor is China at $121.9 billion. So we spend more than five times the nearest world competitor. In fact, as you guys have heard me say repeatedly on this program, we spend more than the next 14 biggest militaries in the world combined. We have 900 military bases in 130 countries. And here's just a partial list of the countries that we've invaded since World War II. Guatemala, twice. Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Grenada, Korea, Lebanon, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Iran, twice. Libya, three times. Panama, Iraq, twice. Somalia. Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, the Philippines, Honduras, Nicaragua, Haiti, Yemen. And like I said, that's just a partial list. Oh, and also, the $700 billion figure I just gave you guys before for the Pentagon budget doesn't even include the trillions we spent in Iraq and Afghanistan. So, what has Obama proposed in terms of cutting the budget? That has Bill Crystal so scared that Obama's not strong on defense, America. We're number one! Uh, what does he have us propose to... I mean, I guess since he's so scared, what? Are we going to make it so that we spend a little bit less than China, and China's all of a sudden the world number one uh, military power? <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. It, all, all you guys knew that's not happening. Uh, it's a cut of only $55 billion a year. So, look, I'm not the best guy at math in the world, but you do the math. What, 711 minus 55 billion equals... Still a shit ton more than $121.9 billion, which is the nearest competitor, which is China. Oh, goodness, guys! It turns out that if we have these military cuts that Obama's talking about, we might only be spending more than the next ten largest militaries combined. Everybody run for the hills and hide! Quick, I think Canada's gonna invade us! <laughs> 